With Waveform 10 came Subtractive, a highly versatile subtractive synth capable of classic analog sounds and much more. It features four oscillators, including a spinal saw type, which can deliver up to 11 sawtooth waveforms at once. The filter section provides state variable, transistor ladder, and salon key filter types that can faithfully recreate that classic analog sound. Modulation is made simple with four onboard LFOs and envelopes. And to get you started, Subtractive comes loaded with some great presets, including those heard in the intro. In this video, we'll explore the user interface and the basics of how things work. Let's dive in. You can find Subtractive in the Waveforms plugin folder. Now we have an instance loaded, let's start from the top and work our way down. Clicking on this folder icon brings the presets into view, which are organized by author, category, style, and character. Clicking on the rotary icon brings the oscillators and modulation panel back into view. We can cycle through the presets with these back and forth arrows. Access and edit preset information by clicking the I button. And save new and modified presets by clicking here. Subtractive's master output level is also located at the top of the UI. And next to the master output, you'll find the global settings menu. It's here we can adjust the size of the UI, performance options, set paths for content, and check for updates. Moving on, let's take a look at the heart of Subtractive, its oscillators. At the top of this section, we can apply common settings across all four of the oscillators. It's here we can set the voice count, adjust the tune-in, and tweak the unison settings. The oscillators themselves should be viewed as four separate panels. Oscillator 1, Oscillator 2, Oscillator 3, and Oscillator 4. Each oscillator can have its wave shape set via the drop-down menu. Some oscillator types feature additional waveform shaping, like pulse width modulation, or the number and tuning of the sawtooth oscillators with the spinal saw type. In addition, each oscillator provides various tuning and modulation options. There are a few differences to look out for though. Oscillators 1 and 2 are ring modulated, and oscillators 2 and 4 can be controlled in volume by an envelope. Other than that, the functionality of each oscillator is similar. Subtractive's filters are accessed by clicking on this tab. Not only does this bring the filters into view, but also the amp, the EQ, and the arpeggiator. There is also a drive section positioned between the two filters, offering a variety of drive settings. Clicking on the third tab brings Subtractive's effects into view. Four effects can be applied simultaneously, and you can choose from distortion, chorus, phaser, compressor, filter, delay, and several reverbs. The level of effects applied can be controlled from within the amp section. Directly below the oscillators, we find the modulation panel. By default, the four LFOs are displayed, but by clicking here, we can bring envelopes one and two into view, and three and four can be shown by clicking here. The modulation sources are color coded to match knobs in both the oscillator and filter panels. LFOs one and envelope one are set to control the pitch mod. LFO2 is set to control the sync pitch mod and the pulse width. Envelope 2 is used to modulate the sync pitch, the pulse width, and the volume of oscillators 2 and 4. LFOs 3 and 4 and envelopes 3 and 4 are set to control Subtractive's filter and amp. LFO3 takes care of filter modulation, 
And LFO4 takes care of amp modulation. The envelopes are set in a similar way, in that envelope 3 is set to modulate the filters, and envelope 4 is set to modulate the amp. At the bottom of the UI we find Subtractive's Global Glide and Pitch Settings. It's here we can quickly set glide rates, pitch bend ranges and vibrato levels. In the next video we'll create a basic patch while diving a little deeper into Subtractive's functionality. If you don't already own Subtractive, download the Waveform 10 30 day free demo and try it out for yourself. Thanks for watching.